Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today I wanted to go on here, come on here, <laughs> and show Happy My Package. Two packages, really, but it's the same person <laughs> uh, that I got recently. I want to go ahead and show it so that I can put it where it goes because it's it's been sitting. I just opened it yesterday, <laughs> but it's been sitting on my table and I need it for school, work, sewing, all that stuff. <laughs> so anyways, it is a really nice uh, gift that I got. So it came in two boxes and it was from Teresa. And she sent this card. I have a whole bunch of these. They were on clearance at Home Delivery a couple years ago. And I bought all the ones I had. <laughs> so I have plenty of these. But this is the cute little card she sent me with a nice note in it. That's the envelope. But one box had some fabric in it and some other things. And then one box has yarn. <laughs> and um, she said that I could keep what I want to keep and give away what I want to give away. And uh, she also sent a bag of candy. But it's already been like eaten some of and it's in the living room <laughs> but it was like uh, little candy bars um milky ways and twixes and things like that but uh anyway so thank you so much for all this amazing happy mail that you sent me it was never necessary never expected <laughs> but always appreciated especially when it's got candy in it <laughs> but uh i mean it's halloween time i'm gonna have a lot of candy anyways but anyways yeah so let's go so in one of the boxes in the box with fabric was this simply crochet 50 granny squares and motifs Book, which is really cool. There's a lot in here that I think is really neat. Um, wait, this is a page with all of them on it. You can't see that that well, but there's a lot of really cute ones over there. I mean, my sister was looking at it, and there's a lot of really cute ones. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of that 3D um, Granny Square book. There's one that's really. Let me show you if I can find it real quickly. You can put a lot of these together to make a blanket, or you can just make a lot of one of them to make a blanket or a scarf or really anything. Where is it? Oh, there it is. It is a yarn ball with a hook in it. That's so cute. <laughs> but, uh, so there's this cute book that I will definitely use. And then there's a bunch of fabric in this particular box. Oh, I left one. There's one piece of fabric in there on my office. It must have fell off. But I got three of these. One is yellow. And the, this one's blue and this one's pink. This is perfect for liners and bags. So, uh, and they're each two yards. So that's awesome. I love getting liner fabric because I have a ton of outer fabric already. So anytime anyone sends me liner fabric, that's like amazing. Okay. And then there was this. I already took all the, some of them had like, um, what's it called? Remnant packaging from stores and stuff. So there's this one. It's kind of shimmery. And this is like a smaller piece of fabric, but I could still use it to make notion pouches with. Just cats. And I know people will love that. I could probably make three notion pouches of that. The size that I make them. And then there's this other cat print. I know there's a lot of cat people out there. With hearts. Super cute. And there's just really pretty print. Kind of like a gothic-y feel to it. It's real pretty. And I've had some of the same fabric before, but it's beautiful. And people love butterflies. And then there's this print. I didn't take all the tape off of this because June was asleep when I was doing this. And then um, she woke up, so I quit because she hates the noise of peeling tape. Anytime like, I'm making a package, like a box, and I have to use the tape roller, she freaks out. But so, so it's still got the tape on it, but it's a really pretty floral print. And then I feel like I've had this print before, too, because it looks so familiar. But it's a big floral print, so this will probably be toe bags because of how big the flowers are. And the last fabric is these things, which I don't know what this fabric is called. This is a few yards of it, but it, it feels it's like the stuff that reusable shopping bags are made out of. I don't know what it's called, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try to figure that out so I can look up some crafts to make with these some sewing projects. But it's like a couple yards of it. I guess I can make reusable bags, <laughs> but it's uh, you know, it feels like reusable bags. I just don't know what it's called. Okay, so that was all the first box with the bag of candy. And um, this next box is yarn. And it's a pretty good size box. The first one was a little bit smaller. And this is big. And this has a bunch of the same yarn in it. I, I haven't pulled it all out, so I don't know how many of each color there is. I guess I can do that real quick. I have no idea what I'm going to make with this. But I know a lot of people make amigurumis with this type of yarn. Let's see here. I'm trying to match the colors up. As I go, gray, gray, pink, <laughs> gray. Okay, there's one of this one, and it is, I guess I should start with a different one. 
uh, let's see. It is Velux by Lion Brand. And I don't know what this color is called because it's dusty pink is this one. There's one of these. And it is a number four worsted, 246 yards, and it's 100% polyester. So there's one of the dusty pink. There's one, it's got a project started, but I oh, don't mind, I'll pull it out. One of charcoal, really pretty gray color. When I got this, it made me think of Angelia from Crocheting House Mouse because she loves Velvet Iron and she makes giant amigrams of them. And then there's four. of this color which is called lilac and then there are four it's kind of matches my shirt <laughs> of eggplant so pretty so soft and then there are five right yeah <laughs> it's like a short count five of this color there's the fifth one <laughs> and it is called silver so pretty and it's size four, which is cool, because usually these velvet yarns are bigger. Um, so I will probably most def definitely make amigurumis out of these. Or I don't know, there's an awful lot here. I might could make something else, I don't know. I'll just have to look around at patterns and see. But again, it's the line, br line brand, Bell Lux. <laughs> and it's worth to wait for. They all have the same amount of yards, which is four, or two, 46. I can't speak. 100% polyester, and it's so soft. But yeah, as soon as I opened this box, and I was like, oh my gosh, I saw it, and I was like, this made me think of Angelia, because I don't know if she loves um, Velvet Yarn, and she makes, like, my favorite project that I saw her make with Velvet Yarn was a giant ghost amigurumi. I'm pretty sure, I think it was the ghost pattern by Stringy Ding Ding, but I'm not sure. I think it was. <laughs> but, um, uh, it's just adorable. So I might, I might do that. I don't know. But anyways, I gotta find a place for this in my stash, <laughs> which I should be able to, because I've been pulling out a lot of, lot of yarns I'm not going to use to put in a giveaway, um, when I hit 10k, hopefully. Uh, so I gotta stick this where I pulled that out, <laughs> and then I'll put this fabric in my stash and start using it up. And I want to try to make some cool, maybe reasonable bags out of this, I don't know. I'm going to look up some, if you know what this is called, tell me, uh, or if or not, I'll just try to Google it, <laughs> and uh, maybe I can find some other projects to make with it. I don't know if you can see the texture, but it's got like a texture. And it feels like reusable bags. I don't know what that's called. <laughs> but anyways, so thank you so much, Teresa, for that amazing gift. And I appreciate it so much. And we're all enjoying the candy. <laughs> Especially me, because I love Milky Ways and Twixes. But um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and hop off here. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.